Hello, Patrick Walchuk here, and as uh, we do every month, we're going to uh, take the financials of a multi-unit uh, residential investment building, and we're going to break them down to you, so you, show you what it's sold for, and uh, do a little bit of number crunching. So let's get right into it. And this week, um, we picked something that's a little bit unusual. It's a building, and I'm calling it a six to eight unit, uh, because the MLS information said it was an eight unit building. Uh, a website that I have access to, which is basically MPAC, uh, uh, said it's only a six unit building and also the MLS information the agent stated that it had two illegal parking spaces so that's a bit of a risk that a, a, a purchaser takes on when they uh, purchase something like that and then there might have been some locational issues so anyhow we'll get right into it it was listed at one million three hundred ninety seven thousand dollars um, it sold for $1,366,000. The scheduled rental income on the property was $122,000. The effective rental income, that's when we deduct 3% for vacancy and bad debt, uh, made it $119,000. The stated operating expenses were a little over $42,000. When we add in 5% for maintenance, another 5% for management, that gives us a total operating expense number of about $54,000. You throw that into the mix and what happens is that we have a net operating income of $64,000. So what does that mean? Well, it means that we got a pretty sweet cap rate of 4.7%. That's high and I think it's high because some of the issues that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. The operating expense ratio is also very high and don't like to see that, 46%. So hopefully the new owner can bring that number down. Um, it sold for 12 times the gross, 21 times the net, also uh, kind of low. <clears throat> so not to be unexpected here, uh, the purchaser would have been able to buy this property with a 31% down payment, uh, which would have been $424,000, call it. Um, now, based upon uh, his mortgage, the annual debt service on that mortgage is almost $64,000. He would have ended up with a small positive cash flow of uh, $457,000. That would have given him a, a positive ROI of 0.11%. But again, the moral of the story here is that uh, this number here is very low and I think it reflects some issues with the uh, property. Thank you.